Hello everyone, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, Alpha 21.2. Alright, so, since the end of the last episode, I have made a small change to the XML. Basically, now that we have the M60, I don't know about you guys, but considering a stack of 762 is only 150, and this thing holds 120 with the drum mag, that's not good enough. <clears throat> so, I did not add my stack mod that increases everything to like 30,000, or I think it's 50,000 now. So instead, I modified the just 762 ammo to be 500 instead of 150 per stack. I think that's much more reasonable, and honestly, I don't know why it's not like that in vanilla, but that's my opinion. <clears throat> I think some of the stack sizes are a little weird, but overall, not terrible. So, I did do one other thing. I really like that lantern, but it cannot be there. The blue one, even though the blue one doesn't act, isn't actually blue. Put it there. Then I should be able to jump. Yeah, there we go. Wait, do I have... I do not. <clears throat> For a second, I thought maybe I had... Perk. We are completely out of steel. However, we have our lovely gyro, thanks to... I right, remember, we bought it from... Somebody. Bob, maybe? All right. <clears throat> Off camera, I went ahead and I tore this down, the bu little building that was here. And we are going to further move this over. Because even though it's not exactly close, I feel that getting rid of... Or moving the concrete pad out a little bit would definitely be beneficial. Not going to get too crazy because obviously I don't want to use too many resources. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm thinking three out on this side and then just maybe one more on this side should be sufficient. Okay, sorry about that guys. It's been about a half hour since I paused the video. My sister-in-law needed help with the yard. Hooking up the hose because it's finally warm enough to turn the water on. She was struggling to get the hose connected to the water line. She was worried about stripping it, so I took care of it. Alright. We're going to get this done, and then we're going to probably go do a quest. I'd like to do a Tier 5 Infested, but... Well, now that I think about it, we... Gyros, so... Problem... I think we'd be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if it's like a kilometer away. Of course, that's assuming... What is it, Hugh? I think it's Hugh on this world. I've been playing my private world quite a quite a bit, and on uh, on my private world, it's uh, Trader Joe. I've been trying to get some solar spells on that on my private world, and not having any luck. Solar banks everywhere, but... And you can't craft the solar cells, or the banks for that matter. I'm, uh, getting a little bummed out that I can't find any soul cells. I've got like 270,000 bucks, but doesn't do you any good if you can't find the stinking item you need. Go ahead and go a little bit further here to just kind of make it look better. This, I think I'm going to have to... Yeah. Even if I make this all concrete, which I'm going to... I'm pretty sure they're going to do the usual and dig one hole down, and then it'll take them the whole horde like it did last horde night. That's why all of a sudden, towards the end, there wasn't any. It came to a trickle, and I was like, yeah, something's wrong. Sure enough. This should definitely help. Bunny rabbit! All right, that's good enough. Let's uh, dump our stuff in da. And... Okay, I put in the fog weather command so that it reduces the fog but doesn't get rid of it. I just can't stand it. It's just way overdone. And as you can see, the little command I learned, it it's still plenty foggy, just not ridiculously so. Alright, let's see what the traders got. Pause the video. Now I unpaused it. Uh, so, something I plan to do in this series relatively soon. As you can see, that is Deshong Tower. 
It was named after Robert Nashong, one of the primary senior developers for the game. And near the end of last year, I believe it was in December of 23, he was in a car accident and unfortunately he passed away. So kind of in a, as an honor to him, because he did a lot of stuff. He, he's the one, he's the primary developer of the new tile system since Alpha 20. He did some buffs and skills and a whole bunch of other things. He was one of the main developers. And he's, he was there since the beginning. So I thought, kind of in honor of him, we'd do a Deshong Tower uh, quest run. Let me know if you guys would be interested in it. Uh, I'm probably going to do it regardless, but I'm curious if you guys would actually be interested in seeing it. Now, if I do it, it would not be like a as a, a full run. Like, I wouldn't be looting everything or anything. It mostly would just be running through the tower and just kind of enjoying it because I believe it is the biggest POI in the game. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure... Oh. Love this auto shoddy. Let's see what you got, my friend. Uh, yes, please. Yes, please. Absolutely. And I think we're good. All right. What you got, douche? Oh, let me guess. You need to buy, buy something. something. Oh, are you kidding? Oh, that's right. We. Mmm. Wow, these are really far. I don't like you. Oh, the ostrich. Change my mind. Hey, jerk. You really? Need some what? No, no, no. I got it. I don't like it. That was the top one. Maybe I'll change my... I've got work. Two ostriches? And they're in totally different areas. Poppin' Pills Factory. That one's awesome, but it's rough. Not important. What is important is if I don't like you. Gashi Residence, Karen. That's a good one. I kind of love her name's Karen. Alright, I don't want to do any of those right now. The Gashi Pharmaceutical. For a low life like you. Okay, Infest is what I really want to do. The Don Vittorio. You got some brass look blockhead. Shong Tower. Not going to do it now, but we are going to do that eventually. I think I clicked on the wrong. I don't like you. Hospital. Hey, jerk. You need some We'll do Fort Quan set because that one, even though it's tier 5, oh, it's an infestation. Beautiful. That's what I wanted to do. That one won't. We can do that in a single video, even though we're, what, seven minutes in? No problem. And it's not even that far. Well. I think we just did this one, didn't we? And it wasn't in You know what? I don't care. I don't think you guys care. If you're tired of of watching quests, then... Well, it's... I don't know. I've been kind of thinking lately. It's... Oh, crap. It's this way. It is... This game is pretty deep, but it's also... It, 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 it's fairly shallow, too. And I've been thinking that really it is just looting or building and especially once you get towards the end of the game like now and there's not much to loot left left to loot i don't know i've i've noticed that the that views on the game on on this series but i think in general and for the game for everybody have been dropping and i think mostly it is because of uh fatigue it's the usual alpha fatigue people are waiting for the new one it's been Ten months, eight, nine months, something like that. And everybody's really looking forward to the new Alpha, so they've kind of tuned out. 100% understand. Even I have the same issue. So, uh, at this point in the series, there's really not a lot left to do, which is kind of why my series for quite some time, at least since like Alpha 19 maybe, they've been pretty short. I, I haven't been doing any like day 70, it just because the, the views drop off and... Even though I'm not doing this, like, for a living or anything, if not many people are watching it, I don't feel the desire to, oh, we're going to land right on landmines. No, 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 no. I feel like, not that it's not worth doing, like, making the content, but at the same time, kind of. It's on the other side. Yeah, 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 I know, I hear you. There we go, and then sit down. All right, first things first. Oh, God. Oh, God. And I didn't bring any. I am a dummy. That's okay. Two hits. Uh-oh. Yeah, see? The hollow point... <sighs> hollow... What, what do they call it? They used... 
I pop. Okay, so it is Hollow Point. I don't know why they changed the name. <gasps> Bunny Rabbit. Nope. Bunny Rabbits are friends and food, but I don't need food, so. Wow, really? Dang. So, uh, armored targets. Somebody asked me recently in one of my videos, what's the difference between, like, the HP ammo and the armor piercing? Until Alpha, I want to say Alpha 20, they changed it. It used to be that if you use, like, the hollow point, the red ammo, the red tip, on armor targets, it would do very, very little damage. But they changed it for some reason, so now, now there doesn't seem to be, like, a negative damage buff, or whatever you want to call it, to ammo. It just does more or less damage, depending on the target. Now, the red HP ammo that I'm using does significantly more damage on targets like him and, and Bo, because they're not armored. So, like, the, the basic zombies, it does more damage. The armor piercing, I think, does... It might do a little more damage on regular zombies, but the primary reason you want to use armor piercing is for, like, bikers. Cops, for some reason, used to be considered armored. I don't know if they still are. And then, like, demolishers, etc. Uh, let's see. I believe the hazmat... No, not hazmat. I'm sorry. The... Googly Eyes, the construction worker, I believe he is considered armored, and the biker, obviously. Maybe one or two more, I'm trying to think. There's not a whole lot of armored targets. Oh, here you go, soldier. He's armored. And as you can see, the hollow point still works. But um, until they changed it, it, it didn't. Yeah, I think it even says, yeah, it used to say, oh, no, I'm sorry, it's here. Yeah, see how it says ranged and block damage? It used to have an armor penetration, like a negative armor penetration rating, so that it would do less damage to armored. I I like the change, but at the same time, I I like the way it used to be, but I don't I'm not one of those people that cries about it. I I, I don't mind it, but I I did enjoy the the nice buffs to damage and the debuffs, but I definitely understand why. They changed it. I think they... God dang, man. Infested. They ain't kidding. I think uh, they probably did it because some people were confused. I mean, as I said, even now, I still get... Yes. I uh, occasionally get people that are asking because they, they just don't understand, which... I get it. It's not like the game is super... Ex you know, explanatory. They, they, there's only so much they can tell you, you know? Some people complain that if they tell you too much, they're hand-holding, and then other people say they should, and some people say they shouldn't. And... Oh, yeah. Now, see, regular shotgun shells like this used to do, like, pretty much no damage or very little to armor targets. But now, as you see it, it it's fine. It does pretty much normal damage. I'm making the uh, sl the slugs at home basically for Horde Night. And also so that right now I'm using armor piercing on the Magna, but since it's not the Desert Vulture, the reload's too long and it only holds six bullets. You know what I'm saying? I believe I already went all the way around. Yeah, see, the, the regular shotgun shells are so good. Get, you don't really need the slugs, which is kind of a bummer, but they do do more damage. The slugs definitely do more. Yeah, but the, the only the other problem with them is that because they're the regular shotgun shells are pellets, it shoots out like ten pellets or something. Yeah, ten pellets. You can get more individual hits, and you can hit more enemies with a single shotgun shot, but with the, oh, with the slugs, it basically is a single bullet, it's a slug after all, but it does go through enemies if you have, I think by default it does pierce at least one enemy, so you can technically get a two, kidding me, never mind, it's dummies walking on those, yeah, yeah, feel free to do that, I do not mind, alright, this is just a, are they going to add an infested, what do you call it, to, uh, infested, uh, oh, darn it, fetch. I'd love to see an infested fetch. I think that would be awesome. 
I don't know why you couldn't do an infested fetch. Maybe they're gonna add that later. Good stuff, yep. Tasty. Have. Come on, give me some good stuff, man. Some books. I need that knowledge. There, there, there. We did this. Like I said, I'm not, not too fussed about looting everything. Okay, loaded, loaded, not loaded. Did not. Well, a rip off. Eek. Look at all those red dots. Oh, your leg is gone. Which platform? Hey, hey! Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, you can tell I don't... Don't have any points in the pistols. Hey, there's googly eyes. Oh! This thing is so good. And it's only a quality one. Need to get a drum mag for it, but... Tell me there's only one... Not yet, okay. Plastic, thank you. Paper, yes. Oh. Loaded? No, it isn't. I know. The Magnum technically sucks, but I don't care. I love it. I would never use it as a primary weapon for sure. Ah! Okay, okay. Nope, 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 nope. No, nope. 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 Oh, they broke my arm, you rat bastards. Dun dun quest complete. Oh, you tons of rabble. They got my arm. Oh wow, look how long it takes to read. Let's see, we can heal. Everything's dead. I'm gonna reload. Got tasty. Uh, ooh, steel. I know it's only two. I'll take it. Good stuff. Aw, oh, come on, lady. Go haunt some other place. I, I can't ignore. It's gonna sneak up on me. Oh, I will take it. I did unload, like, two clips of ammo, so not surprising. Okay, unlock. So glad they added the unlock the door. Eh, I'm a little hungry, but no thanks. Docking parts, absolutely. Medical items, oh. Oh, for Man, you guys are just goofy. As long as I don't power attack, it won't damage my hand. Power. Okay, get hammered. Oh, never mind. I forgot I've already got a quality. Shotgun. Yes. Yes. That. 75. Ooh, close. Need something good. Okay, armored up. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, I don't think we need to use Charlotte. We that. I've got her just in case. I think we're good. I don't think there's anything in here. I don't care about the toilet. Looks pretty. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, I maxed out the... the one book that's excellent. All right, let's get out of here. All right, as usual, I will see you all back at the trader. Oh, I don't know if we have time. Oh yeah, we didn't make it by much, but we made it.
You're gonna give me good stuff, you fool. I think it's 2150 when he closes and kicks you out, but it's about to give me the loud noise. So hold Make your ears. I guess I'm gonna have to pay you now that you did it. I'm gonna take the chainsaw, I think. No, I can't. All right, thank you, Wrecked. You came through again. Oh, look at that. I had stupid things. So anyway, uh, before we end this episode, I wanted to tell you guys something. For those that are interested in the new console version, uh, the Fun Pimps have released... They had a video... Okay, let me start over. There was an event called PAX. Ow. Uh, that apparently happened recently in the last couple of weeks. And they had a playable demo of the PS5 console version as well as the new xbox version same version and for uh now that the pax event's over they just released like a day or two ago a video of a spliced together version of the demo from the ps5 version it's like 11 minutes long so if you guys are interested in seeing the new console version you can go to the official fun pimps uh youtube channel which is actually called the fun pimps and you can take a look and see... Why is that still not... Yeah, it disappeared. And you can take a look at the new console version. It's it's the uh, PS5 version. And it it's pretty cool. Now, the frame rate definitely is a little eh. But again, as I've mentioned many times, I'm guessing it's... It's not a fair comparison. $500 console versus a computer that... My computer alone has a $1,000 video card. The processor on my computer is five, was 500. That's not counting anything else. It's anybody that tries to compare them like a one-to-one -one ratio, you're, you're just being disingenuous. My guess would be it's probably going to run between 30 and 60 fluctuating. If that bothers you, I completely understand. But at the same time, try to be reasonable in your you know expectation. I don't care. Either way, I'm still getting it and I'm still going to stream it. Because I think it's going to be fantastic, even with its limitations. And, uh, I, like I said, I watched the demo. I was very impressed with what I saw. Overall, you know, you know what I'm saying. Could be better, could be worse. All right, here's my gym thingy. Oh, I got more dukes than I can carry. Nice. That, that, and that, and then... That. Let's go get the other stuff. All right, so with that said, I think I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Next video will be day 34. We're probably going to do another quest, and then, of course, after that, the day 35 horde. Now, I'm only 118 game stage, so 150-ish is when demos show, so definitely no demos. Maybe on day 42, but I got a feeling it's going to be day 49. So, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to leave a like and or subscribe. And, of course, as always, I will see you all in the next video.